it's hard to believe that just one year ago, Pinterest had 3 million users. Today, they have over 26 million, and I expect that number to continue growing. And that's because today, they've launched business accounts on Pinterest. And what business accounts are, are there individual accounts for your business? So this way, you can have an account for yourself, and then you can have a separate account for your brand or your business. And before we begin on showing you how to do this, I wanted to talk about a few neat tools that Pinterest is also rolling out with this. So in addition to having a business account page, you have the ability to add pin it buttons. So these are gonna be ideal for people who sell products on their website. They can add a pin it button, which will push that photo out to Pinterest. And if somebody clicks on it from Pinterest, it'll bring them back to your website. So this is great for getting more traffic to your website, more leads, more opportunities for sales. In addition, there's now a separate follow button for your business. So instead of having to put your personal account out there, you can have one for yourself and you can have one for your business. And you want to make sure, you know, you take the follow button and put it in the appropriate website. In addition, there's a really great feature called board widgets. And what board widgets are, are they're the ability to take pin boards that you've created and to put them on your website or your Facebook page, or pretty much anywhere where you can put some HTML code. If you're someone who, for instance, sells products, say you sell clothing, such as t-shirts, jeans, shorts, belts, and shoes, well, you can now take some of these individual pin boards and stick them on your website. And what's great is that now if somebody's browsing a product, they'll also be able to see some of the items that are not on that page that they might want to take a look at. So those are some really useful tools for you to use on your Pinterest business account. So how do you sign up for one? Well, you wanna start out by going to business.pinterest.com. And once you're there, you wanna look for the new to Pinterest join as a business section. You wanna click this and it's gonna take you to a business account signup form. Here you're gonna have the ability to go in and select whether you're a person, whether you're a brand, a retailer, et cetera. In addition, you're gonna have the ability to go in and actually separate your name from your business. So this way, somebody's not gonna have to, you know, like, like you had to do with profiles, you had to figure out, well, how do I put my business name into the username or into the name field? So this way, you can put your contact name here. In addition, you have your standard email section, you have your standard password section, and you have the ability to specify a name for your business. And this is what's gonna show up publicly. And in my case, I'm gonna put my own name in there because I am the business. Lastly, you have the ability to select a username. I wanted to caution you here because when you do select a username, you cannot go back and change it. So you wanna make sure that you've given some thought to this. Lastly, you wanna fill out the about section and make sure you put in the website address of your business. In addition, you wanna make sure you upload a logo. This way, people see what your business is about. You know, they don't have, this time they don't have to like look at a personal profile and look at a photo of someone to know that you're a business. And lastly, you wanna go down and check on the agreement and then click create account. One thing I do wanna mention is that if you check this box and the create account button here at the bottom does not turn red, you need to go back and check out some of these error messages. In this case, I've already set this account up, so it's not gonna let me do this. But once you're finished, you're pretty much done with setting up your Pinterest business account. You can now begin adding different pin boards and following others. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's how to create a business account on Pinterest. One thing I do wanna mention, because I know this question is gonna come up, well, what do I do if I have an account already on Pinterest and I wanna convert it? Well, I'll definitely tell you one thing. I would caution anyone from converting their personal account to a business account. And this is because when you do this, the username cannot be changed. Um, there is a separate video that I have created on this. So you wanna make sure you watch it. Um, I am including a link to that in the description of this video. So if you have any questions on how to create a business account on Pinterest, feel free to send me a message. As always, thanks for watching.